sunrise and sunset are some of the most beautiful moments at this property kind of made us fall in love with it just the sky here is so amazing all the time so i just wanted to start this video off with some clips of the sunsets and sunrises around here and yeah so enjoy i was never the one to write up a song for just anyone i i was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh because i've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong i was so mistaken because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and i feel so free oh my sweet baby so stuck i kept on playing my part wanted to give up because nothing was changing but with you it's so clear and now that you're here i see colors in every spectrum guess i finally learned my lesson because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever so free oh my sweet baby and i think to myself and i'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time and i know it so well i will always be by your side All the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and i feel so free oh my sweet baby well it's a sad day we are taking the white beater to the scrapyard She's had her last ride, her, her last ride is gonna be over to the scrapyard. And yeah, it's bittersweet because I've had that truck now five years, I believe. And I love it just because of the four wheel drive. And I know it looks like a piece of crap, but it was paid for. So <laughs> I loved it because of that. <laughs> but it is time for it to go. I'm sad, but better things to come as soon as I can find a vehicle. Sounds like it, but it could be that one still. Yeah. There's poopy. Yeah, which is good. They're coming out. That's the one next door, because these ones don't seem very active. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, put them back. You have like a shit ton. Oh yeah. Sorry guys. <laughs> At least they're all up top getting their sugar. Yeah, at that's least really there's good. lots of sugar too. Yeah, still tons I left. I would be empty. I know, me too. It hasn't been that bad a winter. And no. They probably they had a lot. We didn't take nothing. No, so. we didn't take anything. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. If we could get all three to survive. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I might just poke this up. Yeah. It seems like it's really active. I like these lids. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hello, bees. Booming. Guys are eating all your sugar. That's good. Yay. Yeah. All three survived. They look really good. God. So far. So far, yeah, I know. It's when still early.
just walking out to check on Luna because this afternoon it looked like she was potentially going into labor and I just want to check on her, make sure she's okay and make sure that she hasn't started spitting anything out yet. <laughs> them separated right now because we think that Luna could go into labor at any time. What are you doing, baby girl? Let's see how wide she is. You definitely got a couple babies in there, I think. Don't you? What are you doing? Hmm? You crazy girl? Yeah. How are you doing, Feister? <laughs> Hi, Oreo. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Well, nothing yet. She seems to be content, is eating, and doesn't really seem to be showing many labor symptoms. She has just started bagging up, so they say typically when they start bagging up, it can be within 24 to 48 hours. So we'll just keep an eye on her tonight and see what happens. Hey, Lynn. Just loving your alfalfa cubes, right? You got your girl Lacey with you. So right now I'm just uncapping the honey. So you just kind of use this uncapping fork or whatever the heck it's called <laughs> and you just take off the first top layer that has been capped to preserve the honey. This way what we do is we put the frames into the spinner and then it spins them all out and takes all the honey out of them but leaves the honeycomb. So this way in the spring when we give these back to the bees they just right away can start filling it and they don't have to spend all the effort trying to build out the honeycomb. So right away they're filling and they don't have as much work ahead of them. So it's a time saver for them. And for us, cause then we get honey quicker, but you have to be very careful because bees are very sharp and I've already stabbed myself multiple times with them. So that is what it looks like now that it's all uncapped. So you can see all the honey in there ready to be spun out. So this is what it looks like when it's capped. See how it has that hard surface to stop the honey from coming out. So you just kind of just go under and just peel up just the comb or the capping. uncapped. All right, so we've got three in there now. So now we just have to spin it out a bit. Let's get this honey out of here. So we've got our mesh here strainer. So it has the two layers for it to go through. So this one's not as thick. And then this one's a finer. And then it'll go into the bottom of the pot here. And we'll deal with it from there.
best part is cleaning this beast. <laughs> it takes forever. It is so sticky in there and I'm dreading it. comes right out we can throw that in the sink so as you can see there's still some honey left but makes it a lot easier to be able to clean so I'm just gonna pull all the rest of the honey out and go from there Usually we do not take that long to do our honey. We try to do it right when we take it off of the hive. That was the only super that we actually took from our three hives this year. Um, the other two we left for them so that they had enough honey for the winter. That was just an extra, so we ended up taking that for ourselves. Um, but like I said, we only took the honey out and we left the honeycomb so that next year or this year now, they can just start filling it right away and it's not as much work for them um, come that time. But we always make them fill their first two boxes at the beginning of spring and that's for them. And we usually leave that and then anything we add on on top of that, that's what usually what we take away. Whereas this year we only had the one that we could actually take. And yeah, we usually don't wait that long. We ended up putting it in the crawl space to keep it cool and forgot about it. <laughs> so we ended up realizing, brought it up to room temperature. A lot of the frame had crystallized because we had waited too long. So it's not best to wait that long. Uh, we could have got a lot more honey out of it if we would have done it right away. But note to self, we forgot about it. <laughs> so next year, we will do it early and get more honey. But there we are, back to clean. So I'll just show you here what these strainers catch. Sticky. So this is the first strainer. So I caught all that honey comb that I missed when I was picking it out. And then this is the second strainer that's just the tinier one, so it just catches anything that that first one doesn't. And then you're left with the beautiful honey. You can see that. So now I'm just gonna put that into the jars and then we're just gonna use it for ourselves because there's not much there. Well, we didn't get a lot of honey yesterday, but what we did get, we are definitely going to cherish <laughs> and enjoy because that is all that we are getting till this coming year when our bees decide to fill the hives. So we'll enjoy this for now. Well, still no baby, but we don't really know what we're looking for. We've never lambed out before, so 
it's kind of like a learning. We've just kind of been watching videos and what to look out for and going off of that. So huh, it's a waiting game at this point. Cody thinks that she potentially looks like she is really swollen at the rear end this morning. So I'm just gonna go check on her before I go to work and see how she's going. Hmm? Are you gonna have those babies yet? Can I see your backside? I know that's asking a lot. Hi, Lacey. Don't bite me. Well, still nothing. She's just hanging out. Right? Love and life. So, hopefully in the next video, we will have a baby to show you. But for this video, there's no baby.